What's up guys? Welcome back to RimWorld where I forgot to turn off DevTools. That's not the DevTools options. We're gonna roll with it because that's the kind of guy I am. I'm feeling pretty confident with this intro. We have a lot of corpses up here. That's excellent. That is excellent. Apparently we do need a crematorious droid. Apparently we do. Alright, so, uh, as has been pointed out to me, and I, I already knew this as well. I believe I actually mentioned it in the last episode. Building this area will interfere with this exhaust uh, section. So, uh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking what we do is uh, we set up some sort of AC section. Now, I've been playing a little bit with the dev tools, trying to figure out how to get this whole cooler situation set up. And the best area I can, I've, I've picked so far is this section right here. We can just mine all of this area out. We can stick a few industrial coolers in there, and then line the walls with uh, intake uh, ports, and then just run ductwork throughout absolutely everywhere. Uh, so I think that's probably what we're going to work on this episode. We're also going to work on getting this section nice and cleaned up. Uh, let's let's go ahead and get that area nice and cleaned up. Excuse me. Uh, we'll get that area open as well. That way we have nice access through down on both sides okay so yeah we're gonna work on I, I think do we have all the rooms I think we have all the rooms except these two down here mind out let's uh let's get these going those are gonna be the last ones and then we are going to start working on everything uh, I'm probably gonna mine out all the walls and replace them with uh, conduit walls before we actually get started but we will probably set up some lights and stuff that way it's not super dark down here um, for the time being, I'm going to run a couple of power strips down here, and then we'll add in uh, some, some various lights throughout the place. Uh, like I said, that way it's not dark while they're working, they don't get grumps, because grumps workers aren't the best workers. <laughs> so we'll add a few lights in here, that way they can see what's going on. These areas are getting mined out. This area is getting hauled out and cleaned up quite nicely. We have some visitors coming in. Winnow is re improving relations all over the place. Uh, so yeah, what I was thinking is what we're going to do is set up an area up here because this is nicely ventilated outside. It's also got a natural roof over it. I'm not sure if these can sit outside or not um, the, with the exhaust ports. I'm not sure how that works. So what I was thinking is we kind of just take this whole section like this. I believe that will hold itself up. I believe we can go 12... Actually, how, how big is this? How wide is this? Is this 12? This is this is 13, and we need one. So yeah, if we do if we do a 12, it should work. So we'll get all of that mined out. Actually, we'll take it all the way down to here. So we'll get all of that mined out, um, and then we'll put possibly three ports or three uh, industrial coolers over here. And then I'm thinking we'll take this one out once we get it all set up, just to to see if it works. We're gonna we're gonna get everything set up and then kind of run it throughout everywhere else to see if it works. Um, this ductwork stuff, this isn't working, so I feel like we should just deconstruct it, just so we we don't get confused <laughs> with what's going on. Uh, so we'll take these out. Structure conduit wall, excellent. And I guess just a regular. Slate wall, right there. Sure, sure it would be nice to be able to just click that and let it, let it go to town. All right, so let's go ahead and replan this this room, this room business that we have going on. So that was there, that was there. It's really hard to see now. Where was the door? I'm guessing the door was was there. I'm guessing no, the door was there. Okay, the door was there. All right, let's uh, <laughs> I don't. I'm scared. I'm scared to start. Let's go ahead and start building. Um, now this area is unfortunately going to get a little hot, so maybe we should... We'll get... Uh... Actually, you know what? We should set up the coolers first. And there's steel here. We'll mine out this steel, um, and then we'll also mine out this section up here. Oops. Hopefully it doesn't fall down on our heads. You know what? We'll mine out... Well, it's already set to go that far. Um, we'll just mine out. We'll do 11 just to be safe. I'm pretty sure we can do 12. 
uh, but we'll do this just to be safe. And then this right here will actually mine out and then let this be our wall. And uh, that way we can have the, the wall carrying the pipes instead of just having pipes kind of on the floor like this. I don't like seeing that. Rim Wolf Revenge. Rim Wolf is sad. Um, we also need to repair our barbed wire fence that I can't really tell where it is right now. Um, and I got another suggestion to take out this section of rock, like right here. That way we can at least fire at people coming through. And I like that idea very much. So we will be doing that at some point. Um, but I want to get, my goal for this episode is to get the coolers going. So that's what's going to happen. This area is almost completely mined out already. That's pretty awesome. Um, this one rock right here needed to be mined, but you didn't do it. You didn't do it, someone. How could you do this to me? How could you betray me like this? Right, let's get these back in. Got to make sure I keep everything nice and nice and laid out. Calling is being achieved. Mining is being achieved. Everything is being achieved. All right, so this is going to take a little while. It's going to take a little while, but that's okay. We're going to let everyone do everything. This area is staying nice and frosty. Got it set to 20 degrees now. Um, instead of doing a bunch of coolers up here, what we could do is potentially uh, put a few exhaust ports in here and then run those exhaust ports and let this cooler cool this whole area as well, all of these rooms. Um, that might not be such a bad idea. All of that is now mined out. That's excellent. That means this will go even quicker. Hopefully nothing collapses. I'm a little scared. I'm a little worried because this is a little more open right here. But we'll see how it goes. We will we will see how it goes. Alright, so we have uh we have a an area mined out. I'm gonna go ahead and remove these plans. Um I want to set up at least two coolers in here. So the way the coolers work is we have a, I believe they're two by two. Yeah, they're two by two. Uh, that's really hard to see. And then they're going to have the exhaust ports like so. So they're going to look kind of like that. So we could fit in another one here like that. We want to make sure that they have room to get out. Um, and then we could even fit another one up here. We could fit two more up here if we really needed to. Um, we may not need to. But, I mean, we might as well, and then we can always turn it on, perhaps? Not sure. Really hoping someone doesn't die here. Scared? Everything should be okay. Everything should be alright, guys. Everything's alright. Alright, so we have this area mined out, so we have uh, enough room for two right here. And then I want to get another one, but it's going to have to... We're going to have to mine it back a little bit over here. Um, which would be fine. So let's say like this, and we'll get that going, like that. Um, I'm just going to move that one up a little bit. That way I don't feel like I need to try to squeeze another one in up here. Uh, so we'll put this one, you know, we're just going to, we're going to try for two right now. We'll try for two and then we'll take advantage of this one. We'll make this one uh, a little cooler. So what we're going to do is come in here and get a... Uh, and I have tested this, so I do know that it works. Um, we're going to get structure, conduit walls. We're going to put conduit walls in. Um, is this going to work? We're going to need to do some sort of cheekiness. Alright, I'm just going to run this all the way around. Um, we're going to get that built, and then I wanted to mine this wall out. But once we get that built and this built, that'll help support the roof. Uh, so let's go ahead and get the industrial coolers in. Get those right here. That way we can go ahead and kind of see what's going on a little bit. These walls are getting built. We're going to line them with exhaust ports. That way we have plenty of intake. Um, and then we'll, we'll, we'll just go from there. This area is lit up enough-ish. Someone has the flu. Rabbit Jake has the flu. Buddy. Rabbit Jake, where are you? Can you come consume some antibiotics please um, I was I was incorrect in saying that these are worth 60 a piece they're apparently worth 40 a piece um, and as for turning them into clothing I've gone ahead and just disabled everything um, because it's I, I have been informed it's not worth it 
and doing a little bit of math makes it seem like it's really not worth it uh, like really really not worth it so that that plan is going to be postponed or that sciencing is going to be uh, not postponed but just halted completely all right haul more rocks are these rocks all hauled out they are good times bears good times bears we have a lot of mining to do we have a lot of mining to do And I, I definitely will take this chunk out right here and try to taper the edge down a little bit. Um, I got I got one suggestion, uh, and I did science this in a, a new colony with some dev tools real quick, um, to try double embrasures. They look a little weird. Uh, I'll just say that. Running double embrasures looks weird. Um, I didn't like it graphically, but as it just... Uh, the, the main point was to try to figure out what it would do um, for for protecting the colony so what happened was this is what happened uh, I ran double embrasures I basically lined everyone up there were three colonists I put three of them together surrounded them with embrasures surrounded that with another layer of embrasures and then once someone with a gun gets up next to it um, they we got a new recruit awesome uh, once someone with a gun gets up next to it they can shoot through both layers so then it becomes like a kind of weird little firefight um, that I, I didn't enjoy too, too much. Uh, we should actually cancel this and make this a, a door. There we go. Uh, new recruit, Fio. Excellent. Let's check Fio out real quick. Let's uh, look at the stats. Melee. You're a brawler, psychically, psychically sensitive. You like to mine. You're pretty good at social. Uh, let's go ahead and do the overview. Playing this series and then going to Vanilla 12 is weird because the interface is different. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're going to do this. Uh, we're going to let Winnow take care of all the negotiation stuff. You can, of course, flick switches along with VDF. I miss Dragon. Dragon's gone. I'm sorry, Dragon. Um, no cooking. We want you to mine first. And then probably I'll say... I'll say construction and mining first. Actually, construction and mining third or repairing, excuse me. Uh, mining first, cleaning second, hauling... We'll do this. Like this. Yes. Okay. Okay, there we go. So mine primarily, and then keep the place clean, and then haul stuff, and then you can do other things. Um, and now we need to rename you as well. So Fio, the female, the next colony, or colonist, is actually Geo. Welcome to the Colony Geo. It's been a long time coming. <laughs> now, you like to brawl. I do not believe uh, we have any weapons that are amazing. So, it was suggested I put this down to about 95%. I'm okay with that. But, uh, this is our, our ranged weapons, I believe. So let's paste this in here. Let's paste it in. This is our, our melee weapons. Yes, are these? Apparel is allowed? No. <laughs> allow rotten. Yes, allow the rotten guns. That makes perfect sense. Uh, so I'll take this down to 95%. No. There we go. Just to make sure stuff is achieved. Alright, now this is set up. We have the door set up and everything. Uh, let's go ahead and power... Uh, do we want to power it up yet? Not yet. Let's not power it up yet. Let's get some 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 intakes up here. So we're gonna just run intakes all through this room. Uh, that way we make sure that we have plenty to keep the area cool. Um, and I'm just gonna leave everything unpowered for now. These guys, I'm gonna set these guys to like negative 38. That sounds reasonable. Um, because I don't think they'll use any more power than what they currently use. The exhaust ports use a lot of power. But we, we have plenty of power. We also have plenty of uranium. Um, so we got this set up. So let's get that going. Um, or we have that going, rather. Excuse me. Solar flare. That's going to be draining a little bit of power. Actually, it's not really going to be draining that much power. This is lovely. The fact that it covers the entire map, I, I really enjoy that. Um, so we have some ports getting built. Let's go ahead and lay the pipes to make sure that 
all of this is is piped up nicely um, and then we'll connect this pipe up to over over here We'll mine out this wall right here and then place a, a conduit wall there as well solar flare cargo pods what do we got going on uh, tomato seeds not super interested now that it's daytime and I can see I will actually come down here and security barbed wire just to help make it a little safer this is mostly a delay and it will help us get some some shots off with our arty are these loaded um, I have been told that a, a good idea would be to make sure these are always preloaded and ready to fire. So I'm going to flick these on, and then I'll just have someone say, Happy Ghost HCN Geo. Geo. Um, Geo, come man this, and just get, it, just get it ready to fire. Okay, that's shell loaded. It says it's ready to fire. Man this one. Get that one ready to fire. It can now be fired. And this one down here, ready to fire. Excellent, Geo. Excellent. Thank you for the help. Doing some of that cleaning. Awesome. Alright, so this is set up now. Let's go ahead and get structure, conduit wall. So we have the pipe going on right here, which which is good. I don't know why that's a pipe intersection. It's not. It's just, it's being weird. Uh, so we're going to run some pipe now. Where? We have pipe up here still. It would be nice if that stayed up whenever you clicked pipe. Uh, so we'll run this down here, and we're going to connect this up over here. Um, and then that will come in to this room. I believe we have it running through that area. Yep, we do. Alright, so uh, over here, we'll have it come down and into the corner. And then right there, let's deconstruct the slate conduit wall. Uh, we'll need a little bit of power right here. And then we'll also need a uh, temperature duct, ductwork, smart outlet. Put one of those right there. Pipes. Connect this up down to here. Is that another solar flare or just more visitors? Probably just more visitors. Okay, so all of this is now built, ready to go. That's good times, bears. Um, still waiting to connect this up. Still waiting. We'll go ahead and get the exhaust ports on, I suppose. Yeah. Go ahead and get the exhaust ports on. Alright, so this is going to take up a good bit of power, but that should be okay. Uh, should should help cool quite nicely. Alright, so we got this going on right here. Uh, these rooms, I'm not too concerned with. People don't spend a lot of time in there. So, it's mostly just this room. Um, and you know what? Honestly, just to make sure that we have enough cooling, I'm going to put another one of these guys up here. Uh, and we need to make sure we have the power running through, so we'll put that there. And then also the duct pipe. I'm on a mission, guys. Can you tell? I'm on a mission. Are we out of steel bars? We're probably out of steel bars at this point. We are running dangerously low on steel bars. How much steel do we have? We have plenty of steel. Okay, so that's fine. We're, we're going to get all of this taken care of. That's, that's okay. Steel bars is number one on the list. People are sleeping it off. That's great. Alright, let's, uh, this area up here, these are each taking 20 right now. I, I kind of want to just leave them because they're already there. Same thing with this little setup right here. Uh, this is working out quite nicely. Um, we are going to have to vent this still. I would rather not use this cooling to vent this. But maybe we do. Maybe I, I come up here and, like, mine out all the way up here along this side and just connect it up to here and then it just kind of disperses in this whole section and we can put a door here to stop it let's do that let's uh put a steel door here and then we'll vent that all the way up top geo's cleaning up this area always helpful i keep seeing this and thinking something's on fire <laughs> okay these are built now uh, make sure they're set to 70. They are excellent. These are set to 70 as well. Excellent. Um, this is still rocking out. And I feel like it wouldn't be a bad idea to... I don't know. Do we connect this up to the entire network? I think we leave this... I think we leave this one independent of everything else. I think that's what we do. 
Actually, you know what? Instead of just saying, let's leave it independent, let's do, uh... Oh. I mean, that sucks, but... We should be fine. Uh, let's say, let's run uh, some duct work up through here. And we'll have to remember that this is here. I was going to say, let's do this. And then we can cool this area, or keep this area cool. But now that I've done it, I don't really like it. Um, <laughs> I was going to say we could take this wall out and then put um, a thing here and then have like an exhaust port over here. Actually, the way I did this was actually, it was entirely stupid. Um, instead of running this all like this, I should have just taken down like this wall and put an intake. And then taken down this wall and then put... And output and then just ran the pipe along here um, I don't I don't know what I was thinking but since I did it I feel like I should go ahead and use it <laughs> let's have an intake come over here get that going quickly power should still be running across and through and all sorts of things Come on, get it built. Gotta get it built. Thankfully, we're not losing any air because of that corner. Um, yeah, so we're gonna get that going. This is already doored in, or walled in. So I'm gonna deconstruct this guy right here. And we're gonna get an outlet right there. Just to kind of keep that area a little bit cooler during the heat wave. Um, these coolers, these two coolers keep this area relatively cool. These two coolers keep this area relatively cool. I'm okay with leaving that and then once we wall this off, uh, all of these coolers will just kind of go up here. I'm ignoring all of the traders right now. I I'm fully aware of this. Um, I guess call them. They're already gone. Uh, go trade with these guys. <laughs> see if they want to maybe buy some cookies or something. Um... All right, there we go. You want cookies? We have a lot of cookies. Have some cookies. Take the cookies. That's a lot of cookies. Um, <laughs> all right, you guys take all the cookies. We're gonna try to take a lot of your plastic steel from you. What are we at? Eight eighty-five hundred. That's a lot. We're gonna take some plastic steel from you. That's probably gonna drop it down a lot. Not a, not enough. Take a little bit more from you. We're getting there. Something like that. I'm okay with that. Excellent. <laughs> More plastic steel. All right. Uh, so this is set up now. This is unroofed. Excuse me. Why are you unroofed? This is indoors. This is unroofed. This is because this is unroofed. Why is this unroofed? Everything here is close enough. Maybe I need to like... It says overhead mountain. Expand no roof. Clear no roof. Okay, that rebuilt that. What about... No roof region? I don't understand. Overhead mountain. Is it? Is everything fine now? Is it okay? It says It says it's unroofed on the right. I don't understand this. Clear, no roof region. Okay, expand no roof region. This is a little tedious. No roof. Clear. It's still unroofed. This area shouldn't be too long to like keep it from being roofed. I guess I guess the operation get ductwork up is on hold for the time being until we get uh, this sorted out. Let's get that going. Hopefully that'll help a little bit. I don't know. I really don't know. Alright. We'll leave this open for now. So it all kind of connects up, and I'll leave that open for now. So the air can still get through there and vent out. 
I don't understand why this is all unroofed though. Especially this. This is all indoors. Oh, because there's no door down here. Well, if I just put a door here, is that going to make you happier? I just put one right there. Will that be okay? This area is now completely screwed. This area is now indoors. This area is now hopefully getting cooler. It's getting there. It's working. It'll be a little bit slow, but it should be okay. That one port should not take that much. Like, yeah. It's it's getting colder. Alright. Still don't know why this area is on roof. That's weird. Alright. We're gonna let them do that. I'm gonna go ahead and set up the mining order to just kind of come over here and then mine all of this out up to there. That way, all of this, it should be okay. Like, this should be a large enough area to disperse all of that heat. What is with that? Concrete walls, that's interesting. It should be a large enough area. We still haven't found any, like, natural opening or anything. I want to... I want to know if there's, like, some sort of super awesome natural cave sort of thing going on. I really do. I really, really do. Alright, hopefully this area is a little bit more secure. I'm actually going to go ahead and say put me a, a slate wall there. <laughs> and I'm just going to add slate walls up a little bit further. Uh, this area is now cool again. Excellent. I'm going to make it colder. We're going to say take it down to 20 degrees. We're going to say take it down to 0 degrees. Uh, these shouldn't use any more than 100 watts. But I want to make sure it's nice and cool. Area revealed. What now? This? Is this unroofed? Oh, it is! Wait, this whole area is unroofed? Why does it say overhead mountain? Constructed roof? It's a uh, no roof. Oh, nice. We can no roof this whole area? Oh, that's lovely. Maybe we should mine out this section up here, too. Just kind of see what's going on outside. Get that going. Alright, so that should take care of that section right there. We have our own little garden paradise sort of thing. Kind of. Not really a garden paradise. Uh, but we have a thing. We have a thing. That'll get filled out. Um, I feel like we can go ahead and connect these. We need we need another one of these. We're actually out of power. We have enough power to get through the night. Um, so we need another one of these right now. These are 6x6s, six six, so let's mine out a 6x6 six six, along with the hallway that accompanies it. Um, I guess we, we've only really added these. Let's get a little metal tile floor in here because that one's being weird. Textiles trader, I'm not interested guy. I'm not interested, actually I am interested if you will take these few little bits of hemp that we have on us. Uh, that would be great. Actually apparently I am interested. We have a lot of stuff. Take all of the things. Just all the things. If I accidentally sell something that's really amazing, I'm sorry. I just I want all the things out. I know I'm selling uh, clothing that we've made. I saw the like the t-shirts and stuff. Uh, selling them is just extra money. It's practice for them. We have plenty of cloth. I'm not worried about it. Uh, we have not as much cloth as I thought. But here, take the hemp. Excellent. And the tortoise leather just because. Just because. Alright, this area is... weird. So we have a, a large area over here that just won't have a roof ever, which I guess is fine. Uh, because it'll help us with this situation. Which means we can go ahead and get this situation taken care of. As well as that situation taken care of. So everything should work out. Everything should be okay. Hopefully in the next episode we'll 
we'll get more of the duct work up duct works up uh, and then be able to get this going and then also getting the uh, watch him watch him the apartment area up it's nice and clean now at least we might do a little bit of flooring first uh, get some of the walls up I would I would prefer to get most of the walls up before we actually build anything so that's what's gonna happen um, power situation not great and we're definitely gonna need another one of these for whenever we flick these on so let's go ahead and set up the radio isotope generator like so get that going floors give me my tiles that I like all the way up to the tippy top and then we will start hauling the rock getting the things made and it'll be good times bears good times bears haul the rocks please someone come haul the rocks I think things are going well we have no idle colonists uh, we have HC in a poor mood which is disappointing it's disappointing HCN, why are you in a poor mood? Um, because you're neurotic. <laughs> you're, you were just feeling bad. Your mood's getting better, though. It's getting better. Ghostfather's playing a little bit of chess. Visitors. Stuff. Achieving things. I feel like we need to take care of this, too. Or at least do something with that. Um, See, so yeah, I guess we're going to run the ductwork. We got this going over to this area already. Uh, which will be nice. How's it? How's it? 58 degrees in here. Network temperature 1 degree Fahrenheit. Excuse me? How? Also, we didn't connect this, but mostly how. I don't understand this at all. That doesn't make any sense to me. Uh oh. Fire and Colin Steve's treatment. Mailbox! Did you get struck by lightning? I think Mailbox got struck by lightning. <laughs> mailbox look, looks like Antonio Banderas. He's on fire right now. Mailbox, go get yourself cleaned up. Combat droid, are you okay? Other than that one sort of... Yeah. You should be fine. Okay, this is happening. Which is good. And I think that's probably going to wrap up this episode. So in the next episode, we're pretty much going to keep doing what we were doing this episode. We're going to get the, the ducts up and then hopefully get that power thing going. Uh, the power thing. The generator going. And then we'll connect up our uh, little cooler unit over here. Um, and then lay the walls down. Or build the walls up, rather. In our apartment area drop some floors down drop some beds in and see about setting up the ducts for that but I think the setup will work and it's probably the the best thing we can do at the moment so that's gonna wrap this one up hopefully you guys enjoyed and as always thanks for watching and have a good one